more startling revelations from Andrew Gillum. The disgraced former candidate for governor talking about his personal life during a television interview. Alex is live in the newsroom with the details. Well, Calvin and Nicole, Andrew Gillum and his wife sat down with Tamron Hall for a tell-all interview that aired today. Gillum discussed that infamous day he was found inebriated inside a Miami Beach hotel room. And he also admitted he is bisexual and that his wife was well aware before they got married. Bisexuality in and of itself doesn't lead to unfaithfulness. There are men who are in marriages with women who just because they're married to a woman doesn't mean they're no longer attracted to other women. And at any point in time can slip up, make a mistake, do something, and that is, you know, what it is. The same thing in bisexual relationships. You can be attracted to both. You, you, you got a bigger terrain out there that you have to contend with, but you can still choose to physically be with one person. That's a choice that all of us in our marriages and in committed relationships have to deal with. Well, it was back in March when the 41 year old was found intoxicated with two other men, one of whom was a reported sex worker. Drugs were also found in that hotel room. Gillum denied taking the drugs, but says he did check himself into rehab for alcohol abuse and depression. Gillum says he turned to alcohol after losing his gubernatorial race to Ron DeSantis. Gillum also served as mayor of Tallahassee from 2014 to 2016.